alert tonight. If you're meticulous about cleaning, you could be harming your lungs. A recent study suggests household cleaning products are nearly as bad mm. as smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. So we're going to check in with our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, to find out the truth behind this, Doc. The pine saw? Yeah, you know, Glenn, it must be my natural instincts that are keeping me safe because I do not love household cleaning. Now, this latest study out of Norway followed more than 6,200 people for over two decades. And what they found, Glenda, was that women who cleaned at least once a week had their lung function decline quicker than those who didn't clean. And women working as cleaners had their health even decline faster with researchers comparing their exposure to smoking a pack of cigarettes every day for 20 years. It's amazing stuff. So how are cleaning products affecting our lungs? What so, happens? So we think that researchers think that the small particles in the cleaning products irritate the mucous membranes in the airways, which lead them to have long-term damage, which is not good because we need proper lung function to pump oxygen into the blood and get carbon monoxide out and carbon dioxide out. Poor lung function could be a sign of lung disease or the possible development of that. All right, so you've got to clean though. So instead of cleaning products, uh, what's safe to use? So Dave, you're right, you got to clean. So it's really important to choose cleaning products carefully because federal regulation of these chemicals is fairly poor. So my prescriptions, as always, first, try to avoid spray cleaning products or spray the product onto a cloth so you don't breathe in the chemicals as easily. Also, solid and liquid cleaners may be the safer option to use. Be sure to read the label and follow all safety advice. And please skip the chemicals and use lukewarm water and a microfiber cloth. An abrasive sponge is also another effective cleaning alternative. And finally, please keep your home well ventilated. Open a window if you can while you're cleaning. You know, unfortunately, we can't avoid cleaning our homes. It's a necessity that needs to be done. But we certainly can take preventative steps to keep our lungs healthy, which is really important. It is. Thank you so much, Dr. Nandy. And if you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get it right to him.